What's up guys, welcome back to the contentment. So today we're gonna go through a little push body weight workout. All you need is a mat. You might not even need a mat, you can just use the grass and your own body weight. This session's gonna help you get better at handstands, push-ups, and all pushing movements that your own body weight can do. Um, in between this stuff, we're gonna do a little bit of yoga flow as well. So not only are we gonna stretch out in between sets, but we're also gonna get stronger. So yeah, if you haven't done the warm-up video, which is the video previous to this one, go and give that a jam and then come back and do this so that you're nice and warm and ready for the session. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, exercise number one. We're doing a transitional movement from down dog into upward facing dog, keeping the strength through the arms, through the shoulders, push away with your shoulder blades as much as you can. And let's get 10 reps of this. Three. Four. See if you can exhale every time you push back up. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing through this whole session. I'm going to be throwing reminders at you the whole time. And take a break. I'm going to be doing three sets of all of these exercises. We're going to be doing some hip opening movements with the next two sets. But for this one, just get bopping, feel yourself. Feel the music and get ready for set number two coming up soon. If you're feeling any niggles or aches and pains anywhere in your body, now's a good time to address that. And just shake out anything. And if nothing is hurting and you're good to go, see if you can get some massive breaths in. All right, set number two. If you're finding these too challenging, you can just drop yourself down to your knees and do a press up and then leaning back. You don't have to do this full version, but if you can, do as many reps, breathing out as you push yourself back up. Just a reminder to train at the level that you're at. If you can't get all the reps done, but you can get a few of these full repetitions done, then give that a jam. And then if you start to fail, then drop to your knees. So just get as many quality reps as you can and then drop it back down few more reps to go guys keep pushing and relax that's set number two done and this time we're adding in the hip opener so start with open hips all the way at the top leaning back just have a look at what I'm doing on the screen here Dropping back as far as you can, then drop the hips down. Squeeze the glutes, drop back as far as you can, then hips down if you need. As far as you can back. Keep your core as engaged as possible. Only go as low as you can handle before dropping your hips. Such an awesome way to strengthen the knees and open up through the hips. It's one of those exercises that I love to fill in between some body weight stuff. Hopefully getting around 10 reps of this. Just keep pushing them out until I stop. All right, and relax. Big deep breaths if you can. Do whatever your body is telling you to do. If you feel like doing something right now in between the set, then go for it. I'm feeling pretty fucking stoked right now. All right, set number three, last set, best set. Let's work. Exhale, push up all the way. Really push your body up, your hips to the sky at the top of this down dog position. This is such an awesome exercise, getting your body all working together or to get all fancy synergistically. Push out. Keep moving guys, don't stop till I stop on the screen. And hopefully you will get around 10 reps. I'm starting to get pretty fatigued at this point, but we're gonna push last set. All right, time for the hip and knee strengthening opening exercise. Raise yourself up and lower yourself down. 10 reps if you can. 
try and keep these as quality as possible keep that core braced nice and tight lock in the glutes drop down if you find that my narration of these exercises is a little bit annoying feel free just to throw it on mute throw your own bangers on and follow me through the workout all right and rest up guys so coming up now is an animal flow movement if you just direct your attention to what i'm doing on the screen here um in a moment i'm just going to demonstrate this but it's an awesome transitional posture it incorporates a lot of similar muscle groups that we've just been using so just watch how i demonstrate this first and then i'll also show you a easier variation if you find it a little bit tricky so let's have a look at the movement starting in tabletop extending one leg out pulling up with the other side so really pay attention to what i'm doing on the screen here as i extend my left leg out my right hand comes up opposite hand opposite leg just keep going through this with me right now guys see if you can copy exactly what i'm doing and follow me through it rotating through left leg right arm right leg left arm really reaching that foot out keeping your butt off the ground twisting around such a dope movement all right have a rest here we're gonna catch our breath because this is definitely a more cardiovascularly demanding movement it's not as simple as just doing a push-up we've got a lot of different elements in this really see if you can breathe deep into your belly big breaths nice and deep keep that breath going especially when the movements start to get hard all right scent number two guys straight into it get a little bit snappy if you can i've increased the pace on this set a little bit of a hop in between keep pushing go 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 no stopping till i stop we're going for 20 reps in total Breathing out, push out, out, kick out, out. And 20. All right, guys, catch that breath. We've got one more set of these. I know this exercise can be pretty demanding. So really try and settle your breathing. Breathe nice and deep. Really get as much oxygen into those muscles and into the body as possible. When we breathe through our belly, Breathing deep, we replenish our body a lot quicker than if we were to just breathe sporadically or randomly. Breathing with intention helps us recover quicker. And the final set, guys, let's push. Three, four, five. Go at your own pace if you can. Try and keep up with me. We're going for 20 reps. Keep working. this is such an epic movement i still remember how stoked i was when i learned this keep pushing through and rest up guys hopefully you're feeling a whole lot of warmth have built up in your body by now we're just going to catch our breath take whatever seat or posture you find that you can really just recover and we're just going to sit there for a few moments before we move on to the next exercise big deep belly breaths i'll let you catch your breath so first of all guys i'm just going to quickly show you the movement and then we'll break it down into the little segments so it's very similar to the arrow which we just did but instead there's a push up and a spin back in so to get this push-up section which is definitely enough put your hands behind your back on the mat lift your hips up and drop and push see how i'm keeping 
my hips up, I'm pushing to one side and I'm just getting some reps in here. Five on each side. Now the other side, left hand goes back, right hand out, keeping a twisted hip, hips high, five reps. This is an awesome variation of the push-up and it also twists our spine. So the more that we mobilize our body in these weird positions, the more safe we're gonna be when we twist our spine. So we're gonna move into some working sets. If you feel like you can do the full arrow spin with the push-up, feel free to join me. I'm gonna be continuing to incorporate the full movement and some of the regression or the easier version when I get too fatigued, as you'll see coming up. Okay, sets number two, up and one-sided push-up two three four five switch sides left hand goes back right hand out breathing out every time you push up this is such an awesome exercise too because we have so much of the weight distributed onto one of the arms mainly it is just so good for strengthening everything plus it's fun and like I said before, it keeps that spine healthy. If you'd like to join me in a, a little upward facing dog or you can do the sphinx pose if you like. But we're just relaxing here, trying to mobilize the back before the last set. Feel free to do whatever pose you like. Okay guys. Set number three, I'm going to do some full reps on this one. Feel free to join me. So we're kicking through, spinning, and we're doing a push-up and switching legs. Or just keep doing that first movement. Just do the push-ups. Be behind the back push-ups, leaning over to one side, the hips twisted. All right, so I've finished as many full movements as I can do now. I'm going to do some partials on either side. Keep pushing through if you're just doing these from the get. Push, push. Okay, guys, have a little rest. As you can see, I'm feeling myself, feeling them tunes. Had some incredible songs on when I was doing this workout. So just really try and catch your breath in this next one is going to be the catalyst for learning handstand push-ups. Almost get yourself in a down dog position and try and touch the top of your head to the ground. And it's basically just a push-up or a pike push-up is the full name with a down dog posture, leaning forward, loading up the shoulders. We're going to get three sets of 10 here. exhaling when you push yourself up i'm just gonna let you listen to my in the moment little speech here we go hey guys i know i'm probably gonna voice over this but with all this stuff just do the level that you can do at the moment and everything is yet to come there's so many unlocks even all the stuff that i'm doing like soon it'll be handstand push-ups instead like Body weight gives you an endless amount of progression and it's so much fun to get better at. So thank you so much for joining me on this. Let's finish our session. Gotta love the hype when training. Okay guys, let's get into set number two. Pike elevated push-ups, loading them shoulders. Exhale every time you push yourself back up. If at any point, you're feeling fatigued, feeling like you want to break. Just breathe and push through. Let's work. Awesome. Have a rest, guys. One more set of these coming up. Breathe deep into the belly. Breathe. This in-between sets time can be such an awesome tool training your breath when you are fatigued it's one of the most incredible things you can do and it'll really help you stay energized and basically just be able to do more reps as you can see i'm clearly vibing out right now with the bangers going on 
A little bit of music always goes a long way. Feel free to throw your own music on and just follow along to the workout. Get rid of my voice. Last set, guys. Here we go. Exhale when you push up. Hips up in the sky. Do the best you can to work those shoulders. Exhale. Even if it gets hard, push through. Almost there. Awesome work, guys. Well done. Remember, in between set breathing, breathe into your belly. Keep your attention where you're at. Really try and force the breath down and low. Help yourself recover quicker. And also, it's almost like a meditative practice at the same time as we tune into the breath. Okay, guys, have a look on screen at what I'm doing right now. The first movement you can do is just a down dog through to up dog or the alternative and the one that's awesome to do is this one dropping to the elbows pressing up into up dog pressing back into down dog from the elbows have a play with this see if you can crack it if even if you can do one rep of this and then you drop into just the other pose the down dog to up dog without the elbows engaged Right now, I switched over back to the original one because I'm extremely fatigued. So you can use them both. Do whichever one you can do. Two more sets to go, guys. Man, that's a, I don't know about you, but I'm pumped and I'm fucking dying. Feel free to do whatever you want in between sets. Right now, I'm just doing a little bit of playful cup wetter before we get into set number two remember two variations of this either the all the way through or elbows into press up and pushing back let's get some quality reps in do whatever variation you can and just keep pushing through breathing out as you push up exhale as you push up breathe deep if you need to get an easier form, then switch it up. If the easier form is too hard, again, just do knee push-ups. Just keep moving. Keep your body moving. Not too much longer. And then we have one more set. And take a rest. Do whatever you want to do in between this set. I encourage you to breathe deeply. Get some breaths going. There's also something about working out in the sun that it's just so good. All right, guys. Appreciate where you're at. Appreciate your view right now. One more set to go. Let's get ready for this. Final set. Let's see if you can bust out a couple extra reps if you got it in you. And let's get down onto the mat and get into it. Here we go. If you haven't been doing the harder variation, see if you can give it a go. Get some solid reps in. And if you start to fatigue, just pick a slightly easier variation. You can just do push-ups, you can do knee push-ups, you can just do anything. Literally just keep moving with me. Exhale when you put effort in, usually when you push out. Almost there, guys. And relax. <laughs> well done, guys. We made it through. I'm gonna chill and do a little bit more movement-based stuff. But I urge you to just play some tunes, play some stuff you like right now, and just move your body around, feel, just in the ways that it can move. Just feel yourself a little bit, even if it's for one song, just put one song on and commit to moving your body around and just see how it goes. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this first workout of all the movement stuff that I'm gonna be bringing out. It means the world to me that you're tuned in and training with me. This is my life. I love this shit, movement 
and this body right here is my main passion and I'm super excited to share this with you guys so if you are tuning in thank you so much every last drop see you in the next one <laughs> so dope that I get to say that this is like dreams <laughs>